Okay, we are back for another episode of My Demon. The show's been great so far, like I've been saying. Today we're watching Season 1, Episode 5, titled Only You. Let me know your thoughts on the season so far up to this point in the comment section below. I feel like it's been great so far. Cast has been great. The characters are incredible and the uh, chemistry between our two leads are great and honestly the chemistry between the cast as a whole has been great even characters that i dislike i don't know what this episode is going to be about i could predict that maybe we're going to get a little bit more connections between guan and dohi uh, i think he's realizing that he does have feelings for her, uh, which honestly we could all tell from the pretty much from the beginning of the show. Well, they had great chemistry. Maybe he only developed serious feelings for maybe the past, since the um, funeral episode, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, um, it's been a great show so far. Can't wait to check out episode five. If you guys haven't already, check out episodes one through four. My reactions to those are up already. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these reactions. I'm enjoying doing them. Yeah, like I'd only do them if you guys were watching them. I'm glad you guys are enjoying them as well. So without any further ado, let's check out this episode five. And please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. If you don't want to subscribe, that's perfectly fine, but it does help the channel out a lot. It helps me to decide if like if this is something I'm going to continue doing, keep doing reactions and stuff, or move toward other more original content on the channel. I will be finishing up this show regardless, doing reactions to it, but I'm considering moving somewhat away from reactions and doing a sort of um hybrid type channel of reactions mixed with some other stuff with less focus on reactions. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on that and Let's check out this episode. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. They had the tango throwdown. Oh, so we start back up from right here. Maybe this is where he realizes that he has some feelings for her. How do you say his name? Someone let me know. Cause I keep saying it wrong, but how would I say it in English? Tango? Oh, <laughs> the man's getting tore up. This is something that that one guy reminds me of. I can't remember who he reminds me of. <laughs> don't, don't throw away them feelings. Why are you Who's this peeper the creeper? Jungkook. Jungkook! What's wrong with the mans? But don't try to suppress those feelings. So what is this? I haven't felt this in like 200 years? Yeah, see? <laughs> I'm glad these two won an award, I think, for best actors. <laughs> for real. Think about freaking Dohi. <laughs> Is he actual director? I thought that was just some type of title they was giving him, but he, apparently he is the director. See, I knew she was thinking about Doe. 20 years? How old is she? She won't look but 20. You're a human. You were a worthless human before, though. <laughs> Miss with her head. She about to scrub her teeth off. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Both. He's hot, but wants to be iced. He knows about to go down. Man, showers with his necklace on? Dude, his ripped too. What? Finally, I'm about to meet face to face. Yo. <laughs> the showdown. You know who she is. She's looking badass. <laughs> oh. You don't turn your back on someone like that, though. I don't think she would actually do nothing, but she is a bit obsessed with the man. <laughs> right. Collect. 
Yeah, he's collecting something and falling your head. Oh, what? Oh, he scared me. <laughs> you heard too. That is odd. <laughs> you perfect. <laughs> Freaking gandering me up. <laughs> What's going on in here? <laughs> you mean you gotta learn how to talk to people. He don't miss his chance. He keep playing around. What's up with my man's rash on his leg? I forget he keeps scratching at him. It is him. He just been throwing me off. Damn. He said, what the fuck? Yeah, but wait, what, what the Oh, you about to get smacked up now. This man is actually crazy. His dad don't seem crazy like that. The apple did fall far from the tree, unlike what the mama said. Uh, Madam Ju said. I knew he was conniving. <laughs> you the most powerful? In what way? Are you about to kill up some someone else? Like, hey man, what you doing behind me in the restroom? Uh, yeah. The boy's a little psycho. What went wrong with this dude? I mean, his dad is obviously power hungry, but this dude is actually psychotic. Son? Look at the way he looks at him. Why is she dreaming about her? She seems to be extra happy, don't she? She did have something to do with that. Oh, maybe she knows her son does. Oh, shit. What the hell? Cause you snatched the headphones off her head. Obviously. Nick, am I supposed to look at your belly and see you fool? Who's this? Something else. He's clearly better than you. Uh, he said no shit. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
한우기엔 너 혼자 여기로 어떻게 해도 회장 직무대행으로 취대한 후보는 미래전자의 노성민 대표입니다 Won't though he become the chair for this would just be temporary We already know they go and try to vote her out 저를 믿고 회장 직무대행으로 선출해 주셔서 감사합니다 새로운 미래 그룹의 밑거름을 만들겠습니다 but like I said, unless I'm misunderstanding, he would only be there temporarily if she finds someone within a year to marry. On my face. I'll smack you back from the other day. Guilty conscious for what? <laughs> hey, get, get on do nothing. Get on my face. He knows how to try to keep a pleasant face, but... Yeah. Don't try to burrow into her brain. <laughs> Will do. Uh, you'll be there, bitch. <laughs> yeah, well, who are you? What are you doing? <laughs> so now you're a talent agent too? My Doey. You mean by that? Now you're getting jealous. Yeah, that's what I said. What do you mean by that? They working. <laughs> I feel bad for accusing him of being the bad dude earlier, by the way. It's good. It's real good. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we see what's going on, but she don't, for whatever reason. Because I don't think she's has those same feelings for him. Yeah, that's the guy who was looking at her information in the first episode. Get your hands off me. <laughs> this man is goofy. Even his laugh is goofy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a goofy dude too, but not like that. <laughs> this dude tripping. <laughs> this show is legit funny. <laughs> Oops. Ah, Oh, so, so she was meeting up with him. Oh, he was the dude who was supposed to be going on the blind date with her. I was wondering why he was looking her up in the first episode. I was wondering why he was flirting too. I thought he was doing some work for her right now. Some type of... You said no. She just said yes. I don't understand. What do they do? Are they just some gangsters? That's all they doing? It's priming? So what the f- Dang! <laughs> <laughs> he don't mess you up now. He's pissed, it seems. He's upset today. He's ticked off. Oh, she gonna see the dark side of him, which we haven't seen yet. Oh, well, that's a butter knife, but... Damn, I mean... For real? Oh, he's getting dark. Snatch your arm away from this fool. This fool is actually about to kill him. He tripping. I, I don't know what, 
what he's so upset about right now. That's what I just said. Yeah. Well, that's what you wanted? We ain't never seen him that angry before. He's usually always kind of happy to a degree, even when he's fighting. Damn, I was just thinking, what if the dude was in the elevator, but apparently he waiting at the door, he probably seen what buttons she pushed. Peeping and creeping always. Is someone playing that music? Uh oh, you better call Guan. Is he in the house? What do you do, scale the building? Well, don't go outside. Well, that was stupid. Oh, is it? This is in her house. Oh, my bad, I thought she was walking outside the door. How he get inside? Ah, uh, 911? Whatever y'all dial in Korea. Oh, shit. But you knew he was in there. You should have called somebody or bolted it straight to the door. He would have been still waiting like, oh shit. The f what is he doing to her? Well, what is he? No, he's gonna cut her down. He just want to torture her. Oh, this man's crazy. Why are you wearing a mask now though? Oh, that scared me. So you waited till she right there just to do this? That's how sick in the head he is. Get your smiling ass out of here. Oh shit, didn't... There's gotta be Guan, he done jumped over the ledge. What happened to the dude? Sweat. But what happened to the dude? Now that's scary. <laughs> Man, I jumped halfway off the ledge. Too bad he ain't see the dude and freaking shoulder chuck him off the ledge. Great episode. Um, I uh, did not expect that type of ending, honestly. Um, not that I thought she was going to die, but they, this death was pretty tense. I thought maybe if she would have failed, maybe she would have somehow conjured up some way to use the powers or whatever, but apparently Juwan was on his way over there because he's been sweating. He, I don't know what gave him the idea to go over there. Maybe he was going there to make up with Dohi or whatever, but he's sweating. He's been running, bolted up them stairs, and somehow the security in this place is just horrible because anybody can get in there, apparently. He must have... Uh, I have no idea how either of them got in there, but... Glad he did. He ended up darn near dying himself, honestly. Halfway jumping off the ledge to grab her quick. Because if she would have fell and he would have not been holding on to that ledge, they both would be goners. Uh, but yeah, that was a great episode. Um, As someone had commented before, this show does keep getting better and better each episode. And each episode, what I do like about it is that each episode like has a... While it's all the same feel, but they all seem somewhat like different type of elements being added into it. Like first few episodes, we had various things like the mystery, the fantasy, and then we had the murder mystery type stuff going on and a whole bunch of other random stuff. But this episode was more focused on these two together, their drama together, and uh, apparently their relationship or We'll see if it builds into one now that this stuff has happened. Yeah, and this episode like definitely reminded me how funny the show was. The dialogue in the show has been great and hilarious, especially anything to do with Juan has been funny. And as well as the other side people always have some great funny lines and great moments in the show, like more so this episode and also the last episode. Uh, Dohee's um, workers have been really great. And also, uh, again, um, Bakyu's, his all his stuff has been pretty hilarious. I, lo I love his character as well. I think he's the best besides um, our main two. He's right up there along with them. Don't know how the man got away so easily. 
Uh, hopefully they explain some of that in the next episode because I do like how each episode starts off not even just right after the events, but also to show you some extra stuff that happened that maybe we may have missed. But they do always start back like a minute or so into where we ended off. But yeah, hopefully we get to see his perspective of how, why he even got there, why he decided to come. I assume, like I said, it was to make up with Dohi, but who knows? Or maybe he had a feeling. I don't know. Outside of that, what else happened? Uh, we got to see how psychotic the grandson is. Like, I don't know why they were like hiding his face in the last episode because we did, like, I assumed, like, we did see that he was a guy getting receiving the package from the dude early on in like episode three. And we did get to see that he was the one that the Madam Jew accused, uh, didn't accuse him. She told him straight up that he told her that he killed someone. Huh? So that was a f-ing lie. But yeah, I don't know if he's the one who actually has something to do with her death, but because we got to see the mom, his mom, I should say, which is Madam Jew's daughter, is dreaming about, does it seem like almost somewhat fantasizing as and somewhat having nightmares also about her death and seeing her getting some wrong pills. So I don't know why she would be seeing that if she didn't have anything to do with that. Um, oh, that's not her daughter. That's right. She's married to his son. That's his, her daughter-in-law. But yeah, maybe he, the, the son has something to do with it. And I just think he's just a power hungry dude. And he's really also a psycho. I just don't think so. I think he's truly just a power hungry type dude. And it has to be the grandson with someone else that we're just not being shown yet. Uh, maybe someone that has been friends with them and stuff like someone who's I'm seeing thinking as good is probably going to be a person that's bad. Uh, hopefully it doesn't turn out that way because I am loving these characters. But then again, I do like a good twist. Great episode. Can't wait to check out episode six. Hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction. If you guys want me to dive deeper into my discussions afterwards, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Oh, the brother and stuff. I don't know what was going on with him and, uh, and the money stuff with those other people. If I misinterpreted what they were saying about him when he said that he wasn't the one who gave him that money, maybe he was being honest about that. Uh, maybe I just misinterpreted what he was saying with his son. Um, but yeah, someone let me know in the comment section if I misinterpreted that. Another thing is I wonder if we're ever going to find out what really went down with Madam Jew and Dohi's parents. I'm hoping we get to find that out by the end of the season. Uh, next episode is going to be episode six. So if you guys haven't already, check out my first four episode reactions and subscribe to the channel for episode six. My episode six reaction should be coming out within a few days. If you guys have any other shows you guys want me to review, maybe I'll do a reaction to another show. But the only reason why I don't is because it's so hard to edit them down, honestly, and other reasons as well. But outside of that, this show is excellent. I uh, can't wait to see what the what happens in episode six. Show to show some sport comes out twice a week on Netflix, Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this one. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, episode in the comment section below what was your favorite moment and who are your favorite characters in the show so far i've said it before my favorites are the main two and outside of that it would be buck you and there's so many great characters in the show so at the end of the season i'm gonna sit down and give you guys my full thoughts on uh, my favorite characters in the show but at the top of my head, those are the three that I would say. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I am active in the comments always. So, yeah. And leave me your suggestions on what you guys want to see me do in the future. Even if I don't do that many reactions, I will be still doing videos on the channel. Uh, it'll just be a, a hybrid of reactions and other stuff as well. So leave me any suggestions on what you guys want to see me do on the channel. And with that said, that's going to do it. <laughs>